Welcome to my channel Swiftland. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add higher class in Android Studio for SQL Server, step by step. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. First of all, I'm gonna create a folder in the D drive. So, D drive Android Project Tutorial folder. Just click on new folder. I'm gonna create a folder to create Android application the using higher clause. Okay. Now this folder is empty. Start Android Studio. Okay, it's started. Now I'm gonna create a new Android application. So file new new project. Yes. And select la empty activity yes this is empty activity click on next first of all select the location location is where i already created the folder adding higher clause in android sql just click on ok and now name the application application name is adding higher clause android okay language java click on finish yes my project is created you can see the project is created in the directory d android project tutorial folder okay now this is the main activity and go to the activity main.xml this is the default text hello world i just removed the default text hello world and i'm gonna design this form uh, to connect uh, with sql to android okay this is the edit text number and concentrate in the top right and left yes now i'm gonna add another control button control just to drag the button control and drop the piece okay resize this button and concentrate in text edit text and change the text of this button button text is find okay now text text view add three text view to display data in text view consider it off and the second text view okay i already added two text view now check the columns in sql server how many text should I add? Okay, and uh, this is the database uh, table name is product setup tab. Right click and select the records. Yes, these are the records in the database table. Right click item name, design, and color. Okay, now so uh, I have to add uh, one more text view for item name, design, and color. Okay, now concentrate in bottom in the last text view. Go to the code. In this code, add the uh, resize the text and uh, text size. Text size is 30 sp. Okay, and copy, paste it in uh, button and text view. Uh, text view 3 also. Okay design yes now this is looking nice position just concentrate in le left and right so that it's uh, take its uh, position default position is top left so okay now it's done now add a java class to connect android project with the sql server so click a new java class yes name the java class java class name is connection helper connection health class press enter yes java class is created now connection connection regular variable con string us for username password pass ip i just declaring some variable 
okay now add the suppress link new API to get the link result public connection con class like a class name will be con class and then in this class I will uh, I'll add all the data uh, for server SQL server data so that it will connect with the Android studio okay IP is 172.100.1 and port is 1433 and DB DB means DB is my SQL server DB is programming DB you can see just copy the DB's name and paste in DB now UN UN for username username is SA oh sorry UN yes UN it's okay now and pass pass is test at the rate 1 to 9 yes test 1 to 9 okay now stick mode dot thread policy uh, variable name is pal and the new equal to new stick mode dot thread policy dot builder dot farm it all dot build okay now strict mode dot set thread policy p o l pol okay now connection connection equal to the default connection is null and then string connection url connection url is also default null now i'll set the url and connection so at try catch exception e and then if any exception occur then log dot the message will be error then the message uh, getting from the error okay e dot get masses press alter plus enter okay now class dot for name net dot chores force dot jtds dot jdbc dot driver okay connection url equal to jdbc jtds colon sql server jdbc colon jtds colon sql server colon double slash put the syntax accurately double quotation plus ip plus colon port and then semicolon plus ddb's name equal to my database name is db what i declared already original database name is programming db okay now username un uh, un semicolon password equal to pass semicolon and final end okay now connection equal to driver manager dot get connection connection url okay uh, missing return statement so finally return the connection okay now connection helper is done where is in this thing and uh, oh sorry comma to semicolon yes now it's okay now my connection is okay i will use this con, con class in the activity main.xml to display our, our data from sql server database to uh, android studio okay now add jtds dependency jar dependency so in this project uh, now library is blank just copy the jtds file and paste it in library i mean add the jtds file in the project library folder okay now go to the file menu and click on project structure and click on dependencies click on f and then click on plus sign to add the jar dependency select jar dependency and just uh, provide a path select the location directory location and just paste yes this is the path of jtds jar file 
copy the file name also and foot backslash then put the file name yes now click ok the jtda jar dependency added click on ok yes and now it will be able to connect to the SQL Server database in this activity mandate xml now i will call the con class and i will display result display the data from the SQL Server database to test view using android project so connection connection is stink on result default result is blank now i'm gonna add a method method is public via display data to text based on where view okay now text view tx1 equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot text view text view is the name of the text view what i added id of the text view what i added in the android page second one is text tx3 text view see that this is text view id is text view and this is text view 2 you can see attribute this is text view 3 so second one is text view 2 and third one is text view 3 okay now connection connection helper class connection help class con hc hc equal to new connection help class this is the java class name and now connection dot con ch con class this is the class name of the java class java class and if connection not equal to null then I mean if connection is okay I mean if I create this database port uh, all the authentication password also all is okay then it will execute the operation else it will display the result con result equal to check connection when it will the display message uh, check connection so now if connection is okay then string q equal to select the start from product setup tip this is the table name select the start from product setup tip this is my query higher product id product id equal to put the syntax accurately oh yes product uh, at edit text variable this is text view t uh, uh, ed text one and the id is edit text number yes edit text number let's check this is the edit text edit text id is edit text number now just edit text one dot get text get text dot to string semicolon okay now statement as t equal to connection dot create a statement result set result set equal to st dot execute query q q is my sql query variable while result set dot next then tx1 dot set text result set dot get a string put the index to to i mean item name oh yes press alter shift enter yes an exception to the method signature press alter shift enter yes now it's okay copy and paste this one for design index 3 uh, and tx2 and this uh, this one for color index 4 and tx3 you can see in the variable okay tx3 now go to the 
android manifest.xml file and you should add permission user permission android name equal to android permission dot internet and signal is user permission android name equal to android permission dot accept network state okay at the two line of code and now it should okay go to the sql server configuration manager to make sure that this wave is enabled if this wave is disabled you cannot connect with the sql server database from android studio so the sql server network configuration you can see tcp ip enable tcp ip yes and uh, restart sql server to apply changes okay is a uh, restarted now okay now go to the activity main.xml file and click on button and just uh, select the click uh, method in the on click in the on click just select the method and now run this app it's running yes okay it's loading 102 find yes mouse black text view oh yes the last text view is there is no data displaying the last text view text view 2 so 3 so it should be color let's check uh, check the main activity main.x uh, java yes oh sorry this is text view 3 uh, wrongly i put the text view 2 so a mistake for coffee fest okay reload yes it's reloading yes now fine now it's displaying perfectly mouse hp new version and black and if i put another uh, id product it will display that uh, no data 103 monitor hp new version black it's also same and the 104 yes laptop apple new version white okay thanks for watching this tutorial